YouTube, this is Puck. Today uh, I'm gonna show you how to run Linux on them 8.1 tablets. You know these little uh, 8.1 tablets with UEFI biases that make it impossible to, you know, kind of install a distro uh, the easy way on it. So in this video, you're gonna learn how to, you know, kind of run Linux, um, a complete desktop environment of Linux on your 8.1 tablet. Uh, without you know uh, messing up any file and without it being too hard for you to do stuff that you will need is an OTG cable what is an OTG cable in fact the OTG cable is a micro USB connection to a female um, USB female means that you can stick in a normal USB into here you see and this is in fact micro usb of course need a usb stick in my case i created a bootable usb on a micro sd card because in fact i wanted to insert the micro sd card into the device but in some way it was not seeing that and uh, i just popped in the micro sd into a sd card here you can see it you see that and it will just simply boot uh, from the card it see it as a usb stick you also need a wi-fi stick because my wi-fi was not found the chip that is in the tablet because in fact this was not uh, made to be done on this device what will you get in fact you will have a complete linux uh, environment here you can see it this is the linux desktop and here you will see that we have everything we even have an audio player we do have internet we have touchscreen that's really fantastic you know um, internet will not work now because i removed all the cables so um using it as a tablet will not be uh, uh, that easy because you will need to have all these things in fact kind of connected to have this thing uh, running and up and to get it on the internet etc etc all right let's take a look how to do it and what you will need in fact this distro was not created to be used this way okay so what we have here is in fact a distro that we saw in the distro desktop uh, inspection uh, week 4 of April it's in fact a partition magic and it's a Linux distro that will boot straight up and load into the RAM so let's see how this thing boots and how you can also boot it on your tablet okay, as said we need the OTG cable we have to connect the thing and then we're just gonna turn it off and then we're gonna say restart the computer make sure that you set your bias to start up from the usb okay here you can see several options yeah go for live default settings 32 bit yeah we could also try 64 bit let me show you do not try one of the top uh, uh, choices because it will tell you that it, it, it does not have enough RAM that it need 978 here you can see the four processors the four little Linux uh, penguins and here you can see it's booting up before I booted it up in 32 bit And this is in fact the first time I'm doing this on 64 bit. We all know that these uh, tablets have the Intel Atom uh, processor. In fact, they are x86, but uh, the UEFI bias and also the hardware that they used makes it in fact kind of impossible to run Linux. Here you can see we have Linux. Uh, started up and there we have our parted magic see that and here we have a complete 
a complete working Linux we have up here. Although you will find out that the sound will not work and the internal Wi-Fi chip, if you are lucky, it will work. But in my case, I have to select a little USB stick. See that? This is a USB Wi-Fi stick. It's uh, very compatible with Linux and will always work, even with Mac. That's why I have it. It's having the RT2500 uh, chipset from Ralink. So this is it. In fact, um, yeah, we can connect to the internet um, because there is no sound. You will have problems watching YouTube videos, of course. But this is just very experimental and uh, you could hear me thinking out loud uh, the other day when creating uh, the desktop uh, inspection part 4 April. I was saying, hey, Parted Magic, wow, look at the desktop. This thing mo should also be able to run on them Windows 8.1 tablets and it did out of the box. The USB uh, stick or SD card that you're gonna use, uh, you can create with UNet boot in. I did it under a Mac, but you can also do it under Windows. Just uh, use uh, UNet boot in and it will be created and you will be running it up, running Linux on your tablet and this is uh, the easiest way how i found to get a working uh, desktop including internet access including music players you know this thing has music players uh audio editor it's this is more than just a part of magic this is not some uh distro that will only fix your hard drive just like a g parted but this will really um yeah give you the linux experience on your tablet although you will find out that many drivers are not you know found but maybe you guys know how to you know kind of get those to work also if you uh, put the screen horizontal the screen will not turn and in settings uh, here you will uh, the you will see that the effect the the graphic chip is not uh, is not found it's um, unknown so it cannot really fix that so these are the problems that we are having still on these windows 8.1 tablets but this is the only way i found to really easy get a complete working linux desktop environment uh, on your windows 8.1 tablet but because of the lack uh, of the sound not working and the screen not turning and um, of course the wi-fi chip not found you will only be able to use the thing like this with all these extra components uh, connected via usb ports of course uh, this would also work if your internal flash drive was crashed and you had nothing else uh, you couldn't do anything else anymore or your windows crashed or the thing got bricked you know this is still a way how you can get the thing running and still you know get on the internet check your mail and uh, yeah even get on facebook and you know won't be able to watch videos though and music listening well maybe you can find some driver some alsa maybe we should you know install some alsa driver but then again this thing is running straight from the usb from the flash drive so it's not installed it's not really that when you turn it on that you will get in here you will have to boot the system up the way i showed you uh, just now every time you're gonna boot it up and then you will get into this desktop environment and then you can go ahead and do some crazy little things that you cannot do under windows uh, with your linux distro well more i don't have to show you uh, this is just part of magic running on these windows 8.1 tablets this one this is the acer w81 it's a pretty good thing i bought it with 8.1 and then <laughs> immediately deleted 8.1 installed windows 10 clean install you know so you know we might do that very soon again see if we can do a clean install of ubuntu on this thing but i doubt it you know because yeah in some way only these kinds of uh, linux distros uh, boot 
with secure boot on or off it just boots you know you just create some bootable usb stick or sd card just pop it in and the thing simply boots from it i don't know why these other linux distros uh, cannot you know uh, use whatever part that magic used and g part that used to get you know to the desktop that part there you guys must you know do something with your linux distros so you know we can also kind of boot these tablets up from there uh, I say go step even further see how uh, we can delete all the partitions on there install Linux only on these tablets uh, we have fantastic uh, uh, builds of Linux these days that uh, would really run beautiful on tablets like this only the hardware the drivers etc etc all these things you guys must still look in to get this working and uh, yeah I hope that also uh, soon we will get companies uh, that will assemble these sorts of tablets but then without a UEFI bias you know with a normal bias and you know with um, with hardware used that Linux knows about so people can you know go ahead and install any Linux distro on the tablet I think manufacturers must also uh, let the users think for themselves what they want to install on their device you know making deals with certain companies to only install one operating system on the device it's kind of anyway it's food time now for me so I'm gonna say goodbye I want to thank you for watching if you think this video was kind of useful give it a like subscribe to my channel and love to see you in my next video again bye now